There are three manufacturers, which consistently put out great workstation devices and Dell is one of them. Their precision series are built with focus on stability, durability, and performance. The price tag of such notebooks is always hefty and the model we're testing today is not an exclusion but it offers a lot of important features to justify it. This is the Dell Precision 153570, and it has an ISV certification ensuring your most critical applications will run reliably. It also has an optional IR camera with AI-based proximity sensors, privacy shutter and intelligent noise cancellation. The device is enveloped in environmentally conscious materials, such as recycled plastics and reclaimed carbon fiber. The latter is an interesting addition and does offer improved durability. It has MIL STD certification for while its weight is only 1.59 kg and has a profile of around 22 mm. The design is simple and elegant, with only a small Dell logo in the center of the lid. The keyboard offers decent key travel and OK feedback. The touchpad is the better of the two, using a smooth surface and almost no input lag. On the left side, you can see two Thunderbolt 4 ports and a smart card reader. As for the right, it is the more populated side, with two USB Type A 3.2 generation 1 ports, which cap at 5 gigabits, an HDMI 2.0 port, a LAN connector, an audio jack, and a micro SD card reader. There's an optional 4 GLTE slot. On the inside, you find two RAM slots and two M.2 PCIe slots. The laptop supports DDR5 RAM, while the SSD slot to the right can fit Generation 4 drives. Watch our disassembly video to see how to open and upgrade the device. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Most people will go for the 1080p display option, which is why we choose to test it. While it is far away from being ready for design work, it shows zero PWM usage and has even brightness that peaks at 291 nits. The 58 watt hours battery pack on the inside lasts for 12 hours and 14 minutes of web browsing, or 9 hours and 43 minutes of video playback when paired with the 10 core core i7-1265U, which is the best Alder Lake UCPU that you can get. If the U-Series isn't enough, you can get the device with the Alder Lake P-Series, including the Core i7-1280P, which is currently number 4 in our top laptop CPU ranking. Compared to the older Tiger Lake U-Series chips, the new 12th generation is significantly ahead. There are two pro-grade GPU options in addition to the integrated Iris graphics. Both the Quadro T550 and the RTX A500 from NVIDIA are quite more powerful than the integrated solutions, but can also work in tandem with them, something Intel made possible with QuickSync. Regardless if you get a P-Series or a U-Series CPU, you get the same cooling solution, with two heat pipes stuck together, a single fan, and a heatsink. Both the CPU and GPU hover around 70 degrees Celsius, even during full load, so the laptop can definitely handle a P-Series chip. What is more, we don't see a reason why the Core i7-1265U isn't pushed further, as the chip still has a long way to before reaching its 4.80 GHz boost clock. External temperatures are really low, with the hotspot reaching 39.8 degrees Celsius. While the laptop, in its most popular configuration, will be unusable for professional design work, Unless you have a separate monitor lying around, it can still tackle other heavy workloads with ease, while lasting through a whole day without a problem. Of course, we've done a lot more tests, and you can check out all the results in our in-depth review on LaptopMedia.com. You'll find the link in the description below the video.